Hello everyone, my name is Cami and welcome to my channel, Cami's Corner. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back. On my channel, we do mainly Bath & Body Works and fragrance content with a sprinkle of Disney and lifestyle content. But in today's video, I'm going to be doing my final thoughts and reviews and rankings of the Bath & Body Works Everyday Luxuries Collection. I did do a standalone video of each of the fragrances where I talked about what they were duping and what my wear test thoughts were. I'm not gonna go in super depth detail for this video because I don't want this video to be a thousand years long. So definitely go check out those videos. I'll leave my reviews playlist down in the description below. But before we get into this video, I'm gonna talk about this collection. This was a collection that was only in a few stores, but it was online for everybody, which was super nice. I was worried this was going to be one of those test store scents, but it was online, so you were able to get them. This collection consists of 10 different fragrances that are like inspired by high-end fragrances or supposed to be dupes, which I think is so fun because some of these like fragrances and perfumes that they are duping are really, really expensive. So this helps make um, higher end scents more attainable to like the everyday um, person, which is really, really nice. And I will say probably all of these are really unisex and anyone can wear these, which I really love. Um, but this collection was $18.95. I'm going to talk about this right now. Uh, there was some quality control issues, some random seams. These lines here don't match up, but they are pretty bottles. But when you're charging $19 and you're promoting them as a luxury line, you'd expect to have a little bit of a higher quality, but that's okay. I only paid like $4 for them. So I'm not going to complain. So I did originally rank these just on my first impressions. I'm going to throw out my little Instagram short that I made. Instagram short. The Instagram reel that I made. Of my original rankings. I will tell you my rankings have changed a little bit but not much. So standing tall in 10th place, we have lost in Santel. And this one is warm cardamom, satin sandalwood, and cedarwood. This was a dupe of Lilabo 33 or something, Santel 33. I'm not sure. This smelled like moss, it smells like dirt. <laughs> Sorry, that's a little little harsh, but this is just not the scent for me. Um, it lasted a long time. All of these scents in this collection at least lasted two and a half to three hours, which was really nice. Mm, no, I don't like this. My thoughts didn't change. It smells like a moss ball. <laughs> um, but I'm sure the scent is out there for someone and it works well for them. This is definitely more a, a little bit more masculine than I like, and it kind of just smells like a dirt filled garden. So this one is staying in 10th place. Okay. We had one move down in the rankings and that was O'Terry. This one was so disappointing to me. So disappointing to me. And I do have the mimic dupe of the Tom Ford Lost Cherry, which is what this is duping. And that one is so much better. Maybe this one smells more like the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I've never tried that one before. Um, but just reading this scent separate from what they're supposed to be duping, I wasn't a fan. This is Black Cherry, Sheer Magnolia, and Tonka Bean. It's like a dark kind of cherry. And I just don't love it. I just don't love this one. My kind of cherry is either Firecracker Pop or the Sweetheart Cherry. This one was just a little disappointing to me. I get too much of that like Magnolia in here for me to like this one too much. So this one moved down. I think I bring it at eight and it's going to ninth. Okay, moving on to the scent that is eighth. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna call on the horizon eighth. Wearing this, I did not like this as much as I thought I was gonna like it or based on my first impressions. This is watery bergamot, blue lotus, and driftwood moss. That driftwood moss, no, is just a little too much for me. The cap still smelled like it, which is crazy because I re reviewed this one over a week and a half ago, but this one is a unisex scent that it's duping. Some aqua di Gio kind of scent, I think by Armani, something like that. Um, and again, it's just like one of those scents that like, I don't love a super masculine scent on myself, but I don't know. I don't like that like moss note. 
And then you do get that like weird citrusy bergamot kind of scent, which is just strange to me. Do I hate this one? No. Honestly, all of these ones I moderately enjoy to like love. The only one I don't moderately <laughs> enjoy is Lost in Santo. But this was a really solid collection and I feel like there was a scent for everyone in this collection. But yeah. Not my vibe. This one's more a little bit more masculine than I would prefer in my typical fragrance. Moving into 7th, we have If You Musk. I don't remember what I ranked this one. Um... I don't know. I just, I don't think I'm a musk girly. This is iris, pink pepper, and airy musk. I, what I do know is I did like it better on my skin than in my first impression, like ranking. And it lasted a long time. I just, I don't even know what it is. It maybe it's, it's just gotta be that musk and iris or it's like a very like airy kind of scent. And I don't really love it. It's like aromatic, but it's not bad by any means, but is this a scent that I could wear every day and probably use the whole bottle up? Probably not. So that's why I'm ranking it at seven. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Number six. This is see, this is hard because the top six are all really, really solid. Um, let's see. Honestly. I think Covered in Roses has moved down to sixth. For whatever reason, this one was just not very strong to me. And that's the only reason why it's moved down from fourth to sixth. Because the longevity on this one was not very good. And when you first spray it, you get hit with the alcohol scent note, which I don't love. But on the dry down, it is like a warm rose floral. That's what I get from it at least. Again, people in my comments had told me that this one was really strong for them. And just remember, like scent is subjective and these are just my rankings and how I feel about them. This one might be your favorite or it might be your least favorite, but it's still really good. The Literally the top seven of these scents all could interchange depending on the day, the season. But for the way I'm feeling right now, I'm going to say this one's a six. I think this is prettier than just the rose scent itself covered in roses is. And I think that's just because it's got like a little bit of a berry in it. So it makes it like a sweet warm rose, but it's still nice. But I wish the longevity was a little better on that one. Okay, moving into five. I think I'm going to put Floral Fantasy. This is the Peach Osmanthus Jasmine and Warm Patchouli. This one lasted, I think, a decent amount. I can't really remember at this point. But this one's not terrible. It's not very bad. It's not very great either. But I just don't see myself wearing this one very much. But yeah, this is Peach Osmanthus Jasmine in Warm Patchouli. I don't know. I think I would have preferred it without the patchouli note. But there's Floral Fantasy. And then in fourth, we have Viva Vanilla, which is one moved up a couple rankings. I really liked this one, actually. Um, it's, I think people were thinking this was going to be like more of like a wrapped in vanilla scent, which I was one of those people because I did, but it's more of like a distant, like smokier cousin of sweet whiskey. In my opinion, this is rich plum, glowing amber and addictive vanilla. It's not a very sweet vanilla. It's got more of like a spa kind of smoky vanilla, which I don't think people were expecting in this one. This one is duping. I think the sniff vanilla vice i've never smelled that one before but this one is nice and it lasted a really long time on my skin i pick up more of like that like ambery plum when you first spray it in the cap i do get a little bit more of the vanilla but on my skin um and with my skin chemistry i get more of that plum and amber note but this is really nice i like this a lot more that's why i try to do like in-depth reviews because sometimes my first impressions don't match up with how i actually wear them so that is the fourth one and third, we have Petal Parade. Um, I don't know what I ranked this one originally, but this is Neroli Petals, Orange Flower, and White Woods. I like that orange flower note a lot. Like a lot, a lot. This one's just really nice. It's like a deep, like, date night floral. This is a really, really great date night scent, and I enjoy it. So, yeah, in third place, we have Petal Parade. Okay, you guys. Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm changing my thoughts. I'm changing my thoughts. In second place, we have P 
pink obsessed this one is so so good i don't remember what it's doing but this is blushing jasmine cashmere praline and vanilla bourbon i'm obsessed with pink obsessed that name fits really really well i feel like this is a really safe scent that i feel like 90 percent of people would enjoy oh this is just so good i don't even know how to explain it the praline and vanilla bourbon mixes so well with that like soft jasmine oh i love this one so much so this is ranking in second and in first place we have getaway soiree this is duping the tom ford sole 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 blanc sole blanc not sole sole blanc oh my gosh i'm in love this is one of those like sunscreeny kind of scents and i love that i did i did recently smell the sol de janeiro rio radiance and i need to get that too because it's got that sunscreen suntan lotion smell that i love so in number one we have getaways for right this is sunkissed mandarin tuberose and solar musk i think that tuberose note makes it smell like suntan lotion but this one is so good. It is so good. A lot of people are sleeping on this one. But for me, this is my hands down my favorite one. If I could only wear one of these ever again, it would be this one. It's just so good. I love the kind of musk in here. I know uh, the musk isn't as overpowering as it is in If You Musk, of course. And the tuberose is nice. And you get a little bit of like a beachy kind of fruity note. I don't know. This one is great. So coming in at number one, we have Getaway Soiree. So my original thoughts were pretty similar in rankings. Um, but yeah, that is all for my thoughts and um, final ranking on the Everyday Luxuries collection. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what your rankings are of the 10 fine fragrance mists. And if you like to say my face, Bath and Body Works fragrance, or Disney content, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button because it's for you helps me out so so much and you guys can always change your mind later thanks again you guys for watching today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye